all your opinion about the city, uh, you know, all your what you know comes from uh, these publications, mm -hmm. like about Dubai. Dubai, literally, for the record, is a wonderful city with a totally safety uh, environment, uh, with low prices, with opportunities for building business, etc. But I wrote tons of articles about Dubai, and I haven't found any useful, literally useful information about what is going to be mm -hmm. my cost of living uh, for the first year, for mm -hmm. example. What neighborhood I should live? Yes. And a lot of questions. I'm looking for all this. These are all the questions I'm asking right now, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So it was covered. Uh, all this data was covered. So now it's an opportunity to discover it again, mm -hmm. uh, bring it in one place and uh, give it for free to everyone. So just open this data. We calculated that approximately, you, you were speaking about migration. We think approximately 300 million people, mm. millions of people will uh, migrate uh, the next five years. Wow. 300 millions. Yeah. I, I, that sounds very believable to me. It's it, a lot. It's a huge number. It's like by one the way. in 25 people or so. Yes, yeah. it's a huge number. But yeah, if the data is open um, and reliable and clear, and you can see opportunity to move, for example, yeah. give me a second. Very soon we are going to produce, uh, we are going to launch um, uh, one interesting piece of software, a very small piece of software. In this piece of software, you'll be able to write your address in any place in the world and uh, parameters of your, of your apartment, like mm -hmm. square feet, uh, what is the quality of repairment, etc. And uh, click the button like, I would like to see what I can afford okay. in yeah. any country in the world. Wow. And uh, AI will give you options mm -hmm. and highlighting you what quality, what where you can get better quality, mm -hmm. better life based on these parameters of living and uh, where you can uh, get better price. Mm -hmm. So literally it's going to be uh, advisor for moving. Yes. And uh, you're going to get this all information by whole world in one minute. Wow. That's it's already it's already launched for Dubai. Okay. But uh, in stealth mode, so it's not public for now. Yeah. Uh, but once I saw that it's possible, and uh, I wrote the address uh, in my apartment uh, of my apartment in uh, Moscow, and it highlighted me uh, where I can move to Dubai. I was shocked because I lived in a not a fancy building, <laughs> frankly speaking. Literally, in Russia we had. Uh, five floors building, like a massive, massive development uh, in the whole country. Mm -hmm. And this development is literally ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it was built in 70s. Okay, is 80s. it like that brut brutalist architecture? Or? Yeah, yeah, so it's like in, with the panels, you know, yeah, yeah, built yeah. by panels. And uh, I saw that in Dubai, for the price of apartments, uh, very shitty apartment uh, in uh, Moscow, I could get uh, a business class apartment in uh, GVC here with access to um, uh, the beach like yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's major geo arbitrage. It, it, it's fascinating. I mean, in the past couple of years, like I said, I've been traveling a lot. I think I've been to 20 something countries in the past two years and dozens and dozens of different cities in every continent except for Antarctica. And I, <laughs> by, by, by the nature of what I do, I, I, have, I speak both publicly and privately with thousands of people across the globe in real life and hundreds of thousands, millions online. And one thing I've, something I'm being asked, which I've never been asked so much before at any point in my life, I've been traveling my whole life. No, I've never had so many people asking me this in every country, which is about recommendations of places mm. to live. Mm. Um, it's a new trend. Yes, it's a new trend. I, it, it, something has massively changed. Yes. Even the amount of people just asking me about the Middle East. I mean, like I said, I, I lived in Saudi from the age of one to 20, but I went to boarding school in the UK from the age of 11. And when people, you know, when I used to tell people that I lived in the Middle East or I lived in Saudi Arabia, um, uh, there, it would be extraordinarily rare for people to be, 
genuinely interested from a perspective of like, hmm, I wonder what it would be like to live over there or to check it out. Of course, the country was a lot more closed off. You couldn't even get a tourist visa sure, if you wanted sure. to. Um, but there's been a shift just in the last couple of years I've noticed with people becoming a lot more curious. Even with Dubai, I think may, perhaps it's just that enough people, there's been a sort of tipping point and enough people moving here and setting up businesses here and talking about it that it's become less scary because I think that people people tend to view the whole Middle East as like a block, mm. right? So even if you talk about Dubai, people are, you know, worried about safety and whatever. And you're, as someone who lives here, you, you look at them and you're like, what, bro, you live in New York City. What are you, like, what are, right, right? You're, you're, you're kind of like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Your safety concerns, right? You know, you live in like a crap part of London and you're here like afraid of Dubai. You, you, you see what I mean? But people are slowly kind of like w w waking up to it. And so I, I think a lot of people are seeing their countries on a certain trajectory, socially, culturally, politically, whatever it is that they're concerned about. And they're at least starting to think, hmm, maybe it would be a good idea to you know have a second option maybe, mm. maybe another residency you know actually yeah. i'm being taxed to death maybe i can set up my business in a different place at least those gears are starting to turn mm. and that's what i mean when i say like again you know we're quite literally in the first quarter of the century but i think also we're at just at this early stage of the you know early adopters are already moving and migrating. Yes. But even yes. people in that sort of early majority phase, they're at least thinking about it and considering it in a way they didn't before. I remember when I was in Mexico meeting, I met lots of and, and I think the whole pandemic situation also accelerated it. For sure. Right. I remember being in Mexico sure. and I kept meeting people from I met so many Canadians. I met people who had moved there from Ireland, from the UK, and almost all of them had moved in the previous one to two years yeah covid is a yeah. catalyzer of this yeah. of this trends for sure mm -hmm. for sure and i think this trend will uh, grow yeah dramatically same so i think now is five percent of population uh thinks think about moving mm. and in five years helps with ai knowledge everything it's going to be 10 or maybe 15 already. Yeah. That's what I think. And people from developed countries, yes. uh, they literally have all opportunities to live a better life. Yes. For sure. Um, we can compare Dubai and London, for example. Mm -hmm. I have all this data in the uh, application, but let me remember. So the cost of living in London is uh, $5,000. A month, like average for a family. Uh, for a family? Yeah, for yeah. a family. Yeah, that sounds about right. In Dubai, is four. Mm -hmm. So in Dubai, cost of living is less. What is it about uh, salaries? So in London, average salary for a family, I think, uh, it's four four thousand five hundred. So per month. Yes. So it's literally right. a, little, a little bit less than cost of living yeah. <laughs> average. Yeah. In Dubai is uh, four. Okay. So in Dubai, approximately every year or every month, you could uh, save money, like mm -hmm. approximately 10% of your money you could yeah. save. In London, you definitely you need to, to take more. more well. Yes. In, Huge factor. Yeah, yeah. You, in London, you definitely need to take more loans. Yes. So this is the opposite situation. But if you are owner of real estate in London, you could sell it and buy two, three, or maybe four similar similar quality apartments in Dubai. Mm -hmm. We tested it. So we tested neighborhoods. The neighborhood in London, Barking. Yes. You know about it. Yeah, it's not a great place. Uh, the average price uh, there is $6.2 thousand dollars per square meter. Okay. And uh, this is approximately exact price of Business Bay. Okay. So Business Bay is seven thousand yeah. dollars. And I know which one is nicer. I've been to both. Business Bay is a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the weather is a million times better. Uh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> it can get very hot in the summer, but I, I'm not a fan of London weather. So. 
Yes, but uh, summer in Dubai is something. <laughs> oh, for sure. Again, I grew up in Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. So for me, it's I, I've been dealing with it for decades. <laughs> yeah, summer in Dubai is not it's not not yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not a good time. But uh, not a lot of mm, human beings know about in that time you could take five star hotel for one hundred dollars yeah, dollars uh, uh, <laughs> for night. So literally five star uh, five stars hotel, yes. and uh, you could take a boat, you know, go fishing, mm -hmm. go make some party for I don't know two hundred dollars, yeah. something like this for three hours. So it's literally yeah, you, nothing. You, you, if you want, if you want big discounts, come to Dubai in the middle of the summer because <laughs> like ever, no one, no one else wants to be here. So you can <laughs> you can get some fantastic deals. Yes, yeah. yes. So at that time, uh, like every dollar you could spend, the the best dollar you could spend in Dubai for the whole world, I think. So you could get more goods and more services. Yeah. That's for sure. That's for sure. You know what? Like wonderful talk. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you no for doubt, this. Man.